I'm Ed Best. Welcome to Scottish Drum Lessons. Today we're going to show you how to hold your sticks properly. Everybody wants to just get started into it, but it's really important to grab your sticks in the proper way so that when you start playing that you don't develop any bad habits and hurt you down the road. I will say my crystal ball is turned on and it works very, very well. So if you do what I'm saying now, it'll help prevent problems down the road. Even though you think you can get away with something now, it'll hurt you later. So please just do what I'm, do what I'm asking. First thing you do is use your right hand. Just relax. You never want your hand to be really, really tense. You want it to be relaxed at all times. So, whatever you need to do to relax, shake it out, crack your knuckles, whatever, whatever it is you do, relax your hand. Put it out like you're going to bed for the night. Just let your hand relax. Take your stick, place it in the palm of your hand. Now you can see there's a little stick holder built into the palm of your hand. It's very convenient. So you put the butt end of the stick into your hand and place it between your index finger and your thumb. Now, that natural curve that your hand does when you're laying down like you're going to sleep, continue that on and that the fingers touch the stick. Okay? See where it's placed in my hand? And then I'll turn the whole thing over. Double check your index finger should be holding the stick about your first knuckle. So if you count from the tip of your finger, one, two, three, first knuckle. Also, there should be a bit of a tunnel. And then you're set to go for your right hand. Now the different strokes you can do are the tap, the bounce, and the buzz. Let's start with the tap. All you do is bend your wrist up so you look like that. And then let the stick come down gently and hit the drum and bounce up on its own. And let your wrist come with it. Don't hit too hard. Don't feel bad if it doesn't sound right, right away. Sometimes you might bounce around and do, does that. Sometimes you might drop it. That's okay, it might be too tight and it stays put. That's okay. But remember, whatever you do, make sure that you listen to it. If it doesn't sound right, try something different the next time. If it does sound right, remember what you did. It's very important because this is one third of everything we do. Is this stroke right here. You see if it's in the, the stick holder, it ends up going down your arm. So it looks like something that your arm so it's an extension of your arm, right? You're not just holding something. It's actually an extension of your arm. Look at the way my elbow is faced, too. It's a slight curve. It's like I'm around a little barrel. And there's my right tap. Next thing we're going to do is a right multiple bounce. So we're not going to move our wrist this time. This time, set it up the same way. Pick your arm straight up as though it was a marionette string. Pulls it up. You can, as silly as you might feel, try that. Take a string, pull it up. Now, when I let go, my arm's going to fall. Fall down, right? Pull it up. And you notice once the stick hits the drum, my arm stops moving. I just let the stick bounce around. That's one of the reasons we have this opening here, so the stick can move around without my hand doing some of the work. So try this a whole bunch of times. I want you to feel what the stick's going to do on its own before you try to control it. The harder you push down, the more it's going to bounce. So it'll bounce away like that. Just like dribbling a basketball. You throw it down really hard, it'll bounce back up. If you just drop it gently, it'll just bounce very gently. Now the second part of this is that I want you to drop it like it's going to go forever and ever, but grab it after the second bounce. We'll call this a double bounce. So it hits twice and then you grab it. But whatever you do, don't help it. Don't go or or, or any kind of help. Just you have to make that face too. It really helps to do that. Drop it like that, but grab it after the second tap. There you go. Just nice and gentle. My arm's gonna move once, my stick will move twice. A better mistake would be this, or this, or this, but not that. Very important to let the stick go on its own. Again, that's a better mistake. You drop it and grab it. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like you change your mind. You're going to let it go forever and ever, but whoops, I changed my mind. You grip it up. 
Cool. And the third thing we're going to do is the buzz. We're going to set it up just like the bounce, except for one thing. When you set up, instead of having the net really loose, I'm going to take my middle finger and my ring finger and push a stick right into that stick holder. Go from right here, grip it, then my arm's going to come straight down, push from right here all the way down until it touches the drum. And it's going to make a buzzing sound. It's going to sound like you've just squished a really angry bee when it's done properly. Now, experiment. If you grab really, really tight, you get no buzz. If you're too loose, it'll bounce around, or really loose, we'll go back to where we were before. So you have to find a spot in the middle that allows the stick to vibrate as though it's a vacuum cleaner handle, or depending on where you are in the world, a Hoover handle. If you're in Pittsburgh, it's a sweeper. True story. But that's what it'll feel like in your hand. There you go. And those are the three things you can do with your right hand in drumming. Everything else is going to be combinations of that. So go practice that, and we're going to come back a little bit later and try the left hand.